Feels, you know, we talked about this earlier, Craig. It feels really like we're heading from spring into summer yeah. right now. <laughs> it really does, right? <laughs> yeah, wishful thinking. And it looks like tomorrow looks very similar to today. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And then we get back to uh. our winter. <laughs> but not bad. We'll take every bit we can. Sure. In fact, uh, highs today, we're back up into the upper 40s. We'll continue with that tomorrow. Uh, some low visibility tomorrow morning as well and late mm. tonight. So watch for that. Let's get started right now with this shot. Oh, boy, that is beautiful. Look at that. Earlier, we had a wider perspective, and you can see Mount Rainier out in the distance. So it was out. The mountain was out today. You can see just a corner of it on the upper uh, right hand side of your screen. It is 47 degrees right now. Seat tack. The winds out of the south at five miles per hour. Of course, visibility again is an issue and temperatures dropping into the 30s from Bremerton all the way to the south through Chehalis, uh, even in Port Angeles. So tomorrow morning we will wake up to some frost and maybe a little bit of ice on some of the roads tomorrow morning. Visibility down below one mile places like Shelton, Tacoma, Olympia. So watch for that. Uh, Bellingham about a quarter of a mile at this hour. Fast forward to 9 p.m. Notice you're looking for the white here to see where the low clouds are. We've got a bit of an offshore flow coming off the Cascade Range. But right through Puget Sound, you've got a south wind. So, yeah, we'll wake up to some of that fog tomorrow morning. As we go through 7 a.m., the offshore wind starts to pick up a little bit. We'll help to clear out a little bit of the fog. I know a lot of you south sound maybe didn't get a whole lot of sunshine, not as much as everyone else. But tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon by 12, it looks a little bit better for you. By 6 p.m., we still have that weak offshore flow coming through. And then Wednesday is when things all start to change. Now, we do have a storm down to the south, affecting California, not us. We're under this area of high pressure, and of course that area of high pressure is also responsible for the good old temperature inversion we talk about. So that's going to trap uh, the cold, heavy, dense air down at the ground, gives us some of the fog. The warmer air, the 50s, are up above, say, 5,000 feet or so. So that's what's happening, and because of that, we do have an air stagnation advisory for eastern Washington through 7 p.m. on Wednesday and Pierce County. Uh, this has now been upgraded to stage two burn ban. So no wood burning allowed, including pellet stoves, EPA certified devices. What is allowed? Natural gas, propane stoves, and inserts there. Across the higher elevations, no snow coming down. We'll get the snow on Wednesday and snow levels down to 2,000 feet. That's 7 o'clock Wednesday morning. Watch what happens by the time we get to 6 p.m. Maybe by 6 p.m. A couple of scattered showers uh, by 6 p.m. for the commute. Not a lot, though. It looks like most of this will happen later in the evening. That's 3 o'clock Thursday morning, and that's when the rain starts to come in. After that, it looks like the doors open and we do get some rain each day. Here's the seven day forecast, upper 40s for a few days, rain at times. The rain on Thursday does look like it'll be a little bit heavier. And then Mark and Lori will get some more scattered showers throughout the weekend ahead.